Okay, uh, so let's dive deep into the HTML. So what is HTML? Um, so the full name is Hypertext uh, Markup Language. Um, and that is uh, the source code that every time when we look at um, a website so that it will, uh, all the web pages are saved in this HTML format. Um, the HTML elements, so the basic elements are represented by tags. So it's, it's like the XML that we have different type of the tags and those tags are the basic elements of the HTML source code. Uh, the text labels piece of content like headings, uh, paragraphs, tables, and so on, and which are the building blocks of those pages. And the browsers, our browsers like Firefox, Chrome, etc., do not display the text. So they just based on the different type of the text, they render the content of the tag so that we all see those nice web pages. So this is a, a structure of the HTML code. So normally we have the, a pair of the HTML tag so that um, representing an entire web uh, HTML file. And within that HTML file, normally we have two tags. One is called head tag. Okay, a uh, head tag is where we have the metadata. Okay, we have the metadata. Uh, and those are the information that uh, uh, the different search engines that will check the first. And the body tag are the part that for human beings. So those are the part that we can understand we are going to, we are mostly interested. So we will view the, the information of HTML code uh, mainly from those body tag. So the HTML tag normally will have an opening tag and also closing tag. So it's, it's a lot more like a, a pair of the tags. And HTML, this tag is a root tag. And that tag contains the other tags. Um, the content within the tag are the part that are visible. So those are the visible part that we can see. So those are the visible parts. Okay, so the tag itself will not be displayed by the browsers. Um, the content between each pair of the tags will be displayed by the browsers. Uh, you may already notice that uh, so the tags, those, those are the basic elements and everything that visible to the audience will start uh, from a starting tag to the end tag. Okay, so the starting tag will be this uh, less than or greater than symbol and within a tag name. And the ending tag has a slash. Okay, so that is a pair of the tag. And the visible part will go inside of the tags, so the pair of those tags. And the HTML code are also nested, so it has a nested structure. So the HTML code is always a root tag. Okay, so it is a parent tag of all the other tags. Uh, it has, uh, normally it has a head tag, which has a, a mental data and also a body tag, which contains a visible part to the audience. And within the body tag, we have other type tags. So like in this body tag, we have a child tag, which is H1 tag. And we have the P tag, which also is a child tag. That is a paragraph tag and also heading tag. So those two tags are the child tag of this body tag. And the body tag is a child tag of the HTML root tag. So there is a structure uh, um, of the tag and that is nested of HTML code, within the HTML code. So let's try to create an HTML, HTML file um, on our own. So let's go to the AWS Educate and beneath my classrooms, let's choose this classroom, which is data mining, modeling, and knowledge discovery. And let's go to the classroom. 
Actually, we can also create HTML code in with our local computer. So if you have a uh, notebook editor, actually you can do that. So here, let's just use uh, the AWS to create some HTML files. So let's go to AWS console through this classroom. And we can use Cloud9 as a, a HTML editor. We can also use SageMaker, although that SageMaker, uh, Cloud9 is, uh, is more professional in creating or editing HTML code and also Python code. SageMaker, um, is easier, so let's let's use SageMaker. So because we are all we are using SageMaker through the entire class. And next, let's go to our uh, notebook instance. And you can see we have the instance that created from the previous lab. So let's check that one, and let's start. Uh, so it may take a few minutes to get started. So we can pause the video here and wait until that is finished. Okay, and now you can see that uh, the notebook instance is now in service. Uh, so before we open the Jupyter notebook, so as a best practice, we want to synchronize from our GitHub account. Although I did nothing on my GitHub uh, after last lab, so but as a best, as the best practice, we want always make sure that uh, we thought we have the same version from the cloud of github to our uh, uh, SageMaker. so let's go to the lab and also go to github and let's see pool and that's success and you see there's nothing changed which is correct um, and next let's open the jupyter Okay, uh, so here we are going to create a new file that's called HTML file. So let's create new. And uh, you can see here by default, uh, they don't have HTML file. So let's say we want to create text file. Okay, and let's save this text file. And let's close that one. Uh, so to make sure that we want to recognize that as a text file. So let's just select the text file and let's rename it. Let's call it lecture5.html. Okay, so HTML is, a, is a, also an extension of the HTML file. Let's click re, rename. And next, if we check, click that one, let's go to editor. Okay, so now you can see it recognized as an HTML file. Uh, if we go to the language, okay, and uh, we can also manually set that as an HTML file. Okay, great. So let's uh, talk about some basic of HTML elements. Um, so the first one is a decla uh, declaration so that all HTML documents should start with a document type declaration. And that is simply um, uh, escalation mark and also document type and HTML. So that is uh, the first element that, that you should put in your HTML code. And next, uh, HTML should begin with this HTML tag and also end with slash HTML tag. So that is starting tag and also that is ending tag. Okay, and as I said, that all the visible part will be inserted into the body and also body tag, and also the mental data should go to the head tag. Okay, so mental data should go to the head tag. So this is one example. So here we have HTML code, and we have declared that its tag is HTML, and we have this root tag. So everything will uh, uh, should belong to this beneath this HTML um, tag. And normally, if you have head tag, so that is you should put head tag above the body tag that contains the metadata of your website uh, web page. And next, you should have the body tag, so that is a visible part. Uh, we can also define the headlines by using the h tag. So h tags are defining the headings. 
that's from H1 to H6. So H1 is a top level, H2 is the next level, so follow in H1 and until you can define H6, which is the lowest level of the headings. So here you can see H1 to H3. So that is top level, that is second level, and that is the third level of headings. The P tag contain, contains a paragraph so that you can define a P tag and you can have a paragraph that within that P tag. And also you can have multiple paragraphs. So like the P tag, this is the paragraph, and as P tag, this is another paragraph. And the link can be inserted into the A tag. So here you can see A tag, href is an attribute that can, you can set the value for that href so that you have a link. And you can also define the visible part for this A tag and also have the closing A tag. The images are defined by using this image tag. So the images can be a local image so that uh, on the local computer, or you can use the image that's on the website so that you can have the source image. And also you can uh, define the other um, information like what will be the alternative word if the image is not displaying correctly. And also what is the size of the image, like the width and also height of those images. Okay, so let's say we go back to our SageMaker and let's try to type those some basic elements. So first, let's declare our HTML um, document type that is escalation mark doc type. As a convention, we put that one into up cases and the type is HTML. Okay, so that is a Docker type. And next, let's start with our HTML tag. So that is the root tag, HTML. And it is always a good habit that we type a pair of the tag together, so HTML. Okay. And you can see here, um, CGME automatically give, give me uh, indentations so that can allow me to organize those tags uh, easier. So that's that's pretty nice. And then let's type a head tag. Head. And you can see here we have red arrows. That, mean, that means that um, HTML is uh, expecting a closing tag for the head. So in this head tag, let's type a title. Uh, let's just call it lecture five. And also finish title. Okay. Uh, so normally the head tag is where we are used to store the metadata. So, and also some script, etc. cetera. Um, so it is not designed for human to read the, the head body, uh, the head part. So let's just use uh, use a very simple title, and that's that's it. And the major part is in the body tag, so let's type body tag. And normally I will close, type the close of the body tag. So I will also put that one on the same level of the indentation. Okay, the, the white spaces will be ignored by the browser actually, but it's just good habit that we keep those indentation clearly. And next, let's try a H1 tag. So H1 tag, let's see, heading one, finish H1 tag. And let's try another H2 tag, heading two, slash H2. Okay, and let's save the file. Okay, and let's view that one. Um, on the uh, uh, so let's view that one as by as a browser, so not a source code. So now, if we go back to SageMaker, and we also make sure that HTML uh, is selected. So instead of click editing, so we can click view. 
Okay, so now you can see that is the body part. So we have two headings because that's that's the only elements that we define in this HTML code. The head part uh, is not showing up here because that is uh, mainly designed for machine to uh, to search the metadata. Uh, let's continue to try something. So let's say that beneath the H1 tag, let's put a P tag. Okay, this is a paragraph. And let's start another P tag. So this is another paragraph. Okay, and for this heading two, let's try a uh, a tag. So a tag has an href uh, attribute that is where you have defined the URL, which equals a double quotation mark. And um, here, let's just copy the GMU website. Okay, let's copy the GMU website. So. Uh, href equals http colon https colon slash slash www.gmu.edu and next we can give it the visible part so let's call it gmu website and let's close this a tag okay so now we will we will have a URL on this website web page which is very common on website. Uh, the the visible part will be the GME website, and if you click that GME website, you will be directed into this uh, URL that you specified in this href um, tag this uh, attribute. And next, let's try an image tag, so img tag where let's say the source equals okay and for this image tag we don't have an ending tag so for, there are some tags that do not have any tag for example the declaration tag does not have an ending tag and also image tag also does not have an ending tag and for this image you can refer to image that into your local computer so for example um, within your SageMaker, or you can refer to image that on the website. So let's say we go to the GMU uh, website and we want to use GMU logo. So if we, I right click this logo and I want to open the, the image in a new tag, okay? So now I will have this URL. Okay, so I will have this URL. So I copy this URL. So that is the URL of this logo. And I paste that one to this source code. Okay, and hopefully that will work. Will work. And hopefully Jamie is fine <laughs> for, for us to using their logos. logos. So now let's save this. And if we go back to this viewer and if we refresh, Okay, so now you can see it's pretty nice. So that we have head one, this is a paragraph. For heading two, we have this um, GMU website and also this GMU logo. So if we click this GMU website, so that will direct us to this GMU website. Okay, so that those are the basics of the uh, HTML elements.